Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to wash the Millie and Coop Milo, Milo, Pram, whatever it is. Uh, I've got mine here. It's in pretty decent condition. It's not too tragic. So I'm going to show you how to take all of the fabrics off, how easy it is to wash. And then I'll also have a review on this pram. I just want to pop in here right now. My one that I have bought secondhand, the front wheels are quite uh, like they're stuck. So they definitely need some WD-40 or grease in them. I normally wouldn't start with the basket, but my basket is broken and has been removed. So it's quite easy to remove the basket. You can see that there's a zipper here, a zipper on the back, another zipper on this side, and then two little tabs that go uh, across the front. Sorry, this is inside out right now. This is the way it goes. The person I bought this off, their sausage dog apparently got in <laughs> and ripped the basket. So these two little tabs, one here and one here with this part goes out the front near the swivel wheels and those two little tabs hook on here and here and then of course you're just going to unzip a zipper down here a zipper here and a zipper here and all should be swell with that but i'm sure you can work out how to undo the zippers and remove that if i find anything later i will pop that in if your insert is threaded into the buckles you're just going to unthread the insert there is one here, two here, two here, depending on where, if they're all in or not. So just take that out and this can actually split into two pieces. So that's gonna go through the washing machine. We've got a nice little stain here, so I might put some spray on that right now and let it soak first actually. And up here, and here, mmm, spit up. <laughs> It doesn't really matter if it gets on the rest of the pram, it's all going to go in the wash anyways. But I just thought I'd use this bit here because the lighting's kind of already set up. Alright, soak that. We're going to remove the hood. So, I'm just going to get my thumb, put it on the inside, push out. I'll show you how they come off after. And then the same on this side, gently push outways. Both of these are now removed, and then we've just got to unthread this little part here. There is four snaps across the back. One, two, three, four. Unsnap those, and there's your hood. Just remove the belly bar, so press down on these little buttons here. So I just want to show you up close of the hood the part that attaches to the hood so it's like a round clip and obviously it's in the bar like this so I kind of just pushed like this way and then it will gently come out now the seat comes off and there's a few things that you need to do at the bottom of the seat so I'm not sure if it's easier to take the seat off and do that or if it's like easier to leave it on the frame just like for filming purposes, I want you to be able to see it. So the seat is forward facing now and I've lifted the bottom up. We have two bits of Velcro. Oh my gosh. And then they also have a snap. So that keeps that in place very well. I've got two uh, Velcro here and a zipper. Let the Velcro thread through. At the back of the seat, down the bottom, you'll find a tab that's Velcro, and that will lift up and show you this. So we have some more Velcro under here, and another one on this side. Unthread those, just keep in mind 
that they go around and back in, but I'll show you the way that they go when we put it back together. Everything is now unattached, except this just needs to be thread through here as it comes up. All right, and that is our seat fabric removed. It doesn't look like the backboard or the bum board come out. So it will just be washed like that in one piece. Hopefully all of this comes out. I might give that a little bit of a scrub first. Uh, we're gonna take it outside. We're gonna push the, the seat inside out. You can see all of these little crumbs ugh, in the side. So I'm gonna get a brush, push it out the wrong way and brush all those creases to get all of that gunk out of there. That way it, uh, I find that it washes a little bit better. I'm also just going to open that up so it can allow it all, all of that to have a wash in here. Make sure that's not gunky. And then once this all comes out of the wash, we'll make sure that we WD-40 it. So here's the seat outside. Not the best lighting. I'm going to pop it in the wrong way. And then I've just got a, any brush, a toothbrush, or whatever brush. just want to get those bits out. worried about just get a bit of spray either spray and wipe or honestly whatever spray you got even a bit of water and just give it a bit of a scrub with the brush I'm just putting the seat fabric, the basket, which I didn't scrub, I should have. I should give that a quick scrub. And then I'm putting in the little in newborn insert. I'm not going to put the hoods in. I've got the pink one and the black one. They're not very dirty, so I'm just going to give them a spot clean. I suggest if you wanted to wash them that you're gonna have to put them in the bath and scrub them it really sucks that you can't take them off and put them in to the washing machine but i think they might have done it that way so you had to buy their color packs and couldn't buy different hoods because i know that some people figure out different hoods can fit on different brands so i feel like they might have done it that way but anyways it is what it is let's put those things in and wash them I just put it on a gentle wash and I'm just going to keep an eye on it as it washes. So we just have the frame, the hoods and the belly bar to give a wipe over. It's up to you what you wipe them over with. I usually use whatever spray and wipe I can find. Sometimes if the pram has been really dirty, I'll use a disinfectant. I like to do under here, you can see how that's quite dirty across all of the frame, like on top there. Inside the wheels gets quite dirty. I'm gonna remove that because that, that just bothers me. For the belly bar, just a quick wipe over and same with the handlebar, they're the same material. And like I said, just a, a quick spot clean on the hoods. If necessary, I would put into the bath, get a little bit of water and a scrubbing brush and use a bit of laundry detergent or whatever and just give it a scrub with a brush obviously you'd open it up and then I would um, put it up somewhere to dry so I've done this 
with other perm hoods before and they usually come out pretty good. Before I do any of the wiping down, I want to sort out this wheel problem. So you can see that they're quite hard to maneuver. Um, I'll show you what they're like. You can see that they're not moving. They should move freely. They shouldn't be stuck like that for starters. They should normally be held up. They would sit in a resting position like that. So they shouldn't really be able to be stopped midway around. So they're not spinning very well. So I'm not sure if it's a problem with the pram or if this pram was stored somewhere that it shouldn't have been stored, but we're gonna take them off and WD-40 them. So to take the wheels off, in here is a little button. Where can I find it? In here on the side. And that just removes the wheel. I have my WD-40, RP7, silicon spray, whatever you wanna use oil the wheel so I'm going to spray it in here now normally I forget and do this last and then I have WD-40 all over my perm and I hate it so today I'm doing it first I normally should do it outside but look we're here now so let's see mm. it has helped a bit but still not great I wonder if this is a common problem. I think it's better. All right, definitely got that in there this time. I push it right to the end. Oh, that feels better maybe. Yeah, that feels much better. Might take some time, but compared to the other one, So that's how you fix one of those problems. So this is the button here. And you just release that. Then we're gonna get the, whatever spray we're using right up in that hole, as far as it can go. And we wanna kinda like fill it up because that's what worked. And then I guess it's just going to take a little while to wear into it. Oh, that's already better from just that. Amazing. So on the back wheels, there is like a little button here and here. So we're just going to press that and that will release the wheel. Oops. I forgot that they don't like being three wheeled on the back. Same thing. Going to give it a, a shake. That goes all the way in. Okay, that's weird. Spray a bit in there. Then I want to spray a bit on here as well. Once your fabric is washed and out of the machine, there is one of two things you can do. You can either hang it up out on the line and let it dry, or you can put it back on the pram frame and let it dry. When they have snaps, they need to be snapped on so that the fabric stretches out, whereas this doesn't really matter. But I tend to just put them back together instead of hanging it up and then putting it back together later. It still dries the same, and I just usually put the whole pram outside in the sun. Velcro on the back. That probably would have velcroed together during the wash. And then I'm going to actually sit this up, make it a little bit easier to show you what I'm doing. So the Velcro that I just pulled up, we're now going to slip that over the top of this bar here. And we want to thread through this little bit here. Down here, we're gonna do the zipper up. So this has to come over.
So I just found out that actually moving this up makes it easier to line this up. I don't know if it moves the fabric or what, or if it's just easier, but I couldn't do it down there and then I moved it up here and it seemed like it moved the position. So zip that up. I'm not gonna Velcro those bits yet because we've still gotta put the Velcro, these parts in. So let's do that bit now. So these Velcro parts are on the outside of this bar, through here. It's gone underneath this bar and on to here. Onto the Velcro, so it's through here, under here, under this bar and onto the Velcro, like that. So I made a boo-boo, I totally forgot to do this part. I was just editing the video right now and was like, when I went to put this back together, I was like, what are these for? And I was like, oh, whatever, and I just went ahead with it. But I forgot that the Velcro bits down here existed. Whoops. Through here. So there's Velcro here, 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 and here. Velcro to the bottom, at the front of the seat, at the front of the seat on the bottom we've got the two Velcros which could have really been, been done up before, I just wasn't sure if they were going to get in the way or not. There's our seat so far. I'm going to put the pink one on, so I'm just going to line it up, you can kind of see where it was. Eventually. That was honestly not easy to get on. I had to like literally use all of my force. Oh my gosh, this one just does not want to go on. Oh, wow, that is not easy. Okay. Once it's clicked on, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to line this part up here. Usually the bottom will go in. And then it looks like we're going to pull it forward. There we go. And by pull it forward, I mean this part of the hood, we're pulling it forward so that it's all lined up. I could have done a better job at spot cleaning. I think I'll need to do a little bit more cleaning on that. All right, are we on? Doesn't look right. What's wrong with it? 
So now the hood's on. I need to come to the back. Oh, that's come back out. Fix this up again. Why does this not sit in here? I despise that. Oh, that's so annoying. And then these are supposed to snap on. Where's the snapping part? Up there. Wait, maybe I've got the hood set too low. So on the back of the hood are these two little buttons, which I didn't see at first. And then once I had it off and had a look at it, I thought that it was to attach the hood or not. But what it is, is actually to adjust the hood, it can go up to this position or it can go down again and they click in. But the hood only likes to be in the up position with this all tucked in and all of the snaps snapped on. And I like the pram to be complete, so I'm gonna put it on the higher setting. I was getting worried about it not working, but it lines up perfectly. So there's one snap, two snap, three snap, four snaps under there, and then this goes through. And the hood should sit better now. Add the belly bar back on. I've still gotta quickly sew up the basket because it was torn. So I'll quickly sew the basket up and then I'll show you guys how to put it on. All right, basket has been repaired. It looks practically fine. <laughs> You wouldn't have even really been able to tell that I repaired it, so that's really good. So put it in here like that, and I'm just going to do the zippers up. So the label is at the front with those two little tabs that I showed you guys before. Oops. So there's one of the tabs, and I'll show you a close up of the other one. the tags at the front here and then this is the little tub that I'm talking about and here's the other one I'll just pop that on there oh. I wonder if it goes under no it definitely goes over like that done complete again so that is how to wash the Millie and Coop milo milo pram i hope that you enjoyed this video and it helped you wash your pram if you'd like to watch a review on this pram i will have that up on my channel in a little while if this is not the right pram for you and you want to look at other prams i also have a bunch of other pram reviews on my channel and a bunch of how to wash other prams thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video